you a drink. I don't have rum. What else do you like? Kylie, huh? is whiskey okay? Mm -hmm. So, do you own this place? I own all of them. Six total. So you live on the island full time? Yeah, just during high season. I also have a house on the mainland. <laughs> your house or your parents' house? My house. <laughs> Damn it, I am all out of cigarettes. Do you have any? I don't smoke. Hmm. Well, we passed that little convenience store on the way over. You know, they probably have some. We could take the golf cart. Why don't I go get you the pack and you can get comfortable here?
smell that? <laughs> no pollution. This is so beautiful. <laughs> Gosh, it's so different from how I remember it. It's gorgeous. So what are we gonna do? Let's go check out the house. So do you own this house as well? Actually, yes, my husband and I do. Uh, these four properties and these two over here, so six total. So where are we? Are we? We're here. Oh. This is it. <laughs> wow. Wow, this is beautiful. <gasps> so how long has it been? 22 years. Wow. I don't think these houses were even here back then. No, no, they wouldn't have been. Mm -hmm. Lots of new construction in recent years. First time for your husband? Yes. I mean, we've been trying to come for many years, but, you know, with work and all, we haven't been able to. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is so beautiful. I love it. There's a list of phone numbers and the Wi-Fi code, but I have to warn you guys, it's slow. So if you want faster Wi-Fi, you can go to the club. It's free. No internet is fine by me. I spend my life tethered to a computer. This week is about fishing. Jim would be happy to take you out. He goes out almost every day. Well, I'll step by and talk to him about that. There's two keys for the house and one for the golf cart. Now let me show you guys the bedroom. Welcome to the master suite. <laughs> wow. Wow. And here's the bathroom. We have extra towels. Oh, no. That darn thing is leaking again. I'm so sorry, guys. I'll have Johnny replace it tomorrow. Thank you, Miss Ross. Please, call me Kelsey. Thank you, Kelsey. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, we're just in the main house down the road, so stop by any time. Will do. Have a great night. Bye. Thank Bye. you. <laughs> Is there anything better than the first day of a week-long vacation? Well, the first day of a week-long vacation with my wife. <laughs> See, aren't you glad you didn't come alone? Yes. I'm sorry, honey. I know you want things to be the way they were, but I'm trying. I know. And I am going to prove to you again that you can trust me. But rehashing my affairs isn't gonna help. This week needs to be about us. Spending time together, reconnecting. You tell me about what you did as a kid on this island. <laughs> we need to rediscover each other. I do love you. So what are we going to do first? We should explore the island. Let's explore the island. <laughs> Johnny, are you okay? I'm fine, why? You just look like you haven't slept. I stayed up later than I should have watching old movies is all. Sorry to bother you on your day off. You probably wanted to sleep. That's cool, what's up? So I just checked the guess into number three and saw that the shower is leaking. I thought you fixed it. I did. I'll take a look at it. Thank you. You sure you're okay? Okay. 
Kelsey was right. This boat is a beauty. Woo. Oh, my wife is always right. So is mine. No kidding. <laughs> wow. There's a little horse there. Yeah. When are you taking me out? Whenever. We head to the mainland in the morning, but we're usually back by noon. Sounds great. <laughs> OK, I'll be right back. Two minutes. No rush. Just going to sit back and enjoy the view. Kelsey asked me to come change out the shower head. I did not hear you come in. No, it's okay. She did tell me you were coming. I just didn't realize that you were here. I couldn't come back later. No. I was just coming to change out of my clothes so we can go out to dinner, but it's okay. It would be nice if it was working when we got back. Are you sure? Absolutely. Let me just grab uh, another cover and I'll change over there. Thank you. Bye. Folks look familiar. Oh. oh my God, my parents! Wow. I have to take this picture and send it to them. I love it. I think I've got one of Lisa in here too somewhere. I just wasn't sure you'd want to see it. Of course, I would love to. I guess you guys. All right, what do you got? What's good? Uh, how special? Jerk chicken, beans and rice. Done. here and get it in the morning.
See you, folks. Why did Gordon make that odd comment about you not wanting to see your sister's photo? My family stopped vacationing here because this is where Lisa drowned. God, why didn't you tell me? I don't know. It's just a memory that I suppress, that I try not to relive. We were supposed to go swimming, and I got a little sidetracked, and she went ahead without me. And by the time I got there, I couldn't find her anywhere. I'm sorry. Not your fault, babe. Come on. Eventually, they found her body, tried to revive her, but it was too late. Oh, you've asked me to come out here with you so many times. I've always said I'm too busy. If I'd known, I'd... It's okay. You're here now. And I know it sounds weird, but ever since I stepped foot on this island, I just feel her presence all around me. This was her favorite vacation place in the world. That's a good thing. Mm. Yeah. All right. You are so beautiful. Says the guy who had how many my times? <laughs> that doesn't make you any less sexy. What is it? The ankle bracelet. It's gone. What? I put it right here. It's missing. That guy must have taken it. What guy? The maintenance guy. When I came in to change, he was here fixing the shower. You probably dropped it on the floor or something. No, it's not here. Who cares? It was broken anyway, right? That's not the point. He can't just come in here and take whatever he wants. What if it would have been my wedding ring or something? It wasn't your wedding ring. It was a cheap ankle bracelet that we didn't spend any money on. You found it. It doesn't even belong to you. I know, but I connected with it because it had two charms. One said hope, and the other one said believe. And that's what I'm trying to do here. So are you saying that it's okay for him to just come in here and take whatever he wants out of our room? No, of course not. But we have no proof that he stole it. We were having a great time. <laughs> Are you seriously gonna let this ruin our night? No. Mm -hmm. Good. I want some. Go ask Gordon to make you some. Well, well, well. Hi. Now we know where all the locals eat. <laughs> Mike, did you go to the dog shop? No, why? Bobby Penser caught a redfish like like this big, dude. You serious? Come on, I'm gonna go show Jim, you. no, let them eat first. Well, I'm so sorry. We'll guys. be right back. You girls got us some uh, Bloody Marys. Hmm? Okay. 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 Okay? Dude, okay. wait until you see this thing. You're gonna freak out. Men and their obsession with size. I know. You know, but it's really nice to see him excited about something. He hasn't been fishing in a really long time. That's great. How's the room? No more leaky shower? No more leaky shower. Thank you. But I do think you should be aware of something. Aware of what? You know what, I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Now you've got me worried. <laughs> no need to be worried. I... <sighs> Please don't tell the maintenance guy. Because I really don't want him to get in trouble or anything like that. But yesterday, I found an ankle bracelet and I left it on the table in our room. And when we got back from dinner, it wasn't there anymore. It was gone. Gone. Like, gone, gone. If you could, please just make sure he doesn't do any work while we're not in there. I mean, I'm not accusing him of anything, but I'm just a little weird about people being in our room when we're not there. I hope you understand. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. We've never had anything like that happen before. It's okay, really, it's okay. Of course, I'll tell Johnny. There's no reason for him to be coming back anyway. Everything should be working just fine. It is, and our room is lovely, so thank you. I'll ask Gordon for that Bloody Mary. Would you like one too? I'll be right back. 
Thanks. Thought you were gonna make the pool look good. I'm working on it. I got the pump fix. I just need to get the rest of the damn leaves out. Listen, do you know anything about a missing ankle bracelet? Number three? No. One ankle bracelet. The lady said she left it on the table and it disappeared. I just thought since you were in there fixing the shower, you might have seen it. I didn't see anything. Maybe she just misplaced it or something. All right. Well, I told her that none of us would go in there without her being present from this point forward. Wait, she said I took it? No. No one's accusing anyone of anything. I just think we should give her and her husband their privacy. Yeah, sure. It's fine, Johnny. Don't worry about it. Just make this pool look good. See you later. Everyone was catching fish today. At least that's what they said. <laughs> Honey, really, if you want to go fishing, it's OK. I don't mind. Are you sure? Because I know you wanted to spend the day relaxing. I'm sure. Go catch some fish, and we will cook them for dinner. Okay, but really, you don't mind? I don't mind. I'll just take my books, and I will go read by the beach. You're amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Da, 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 da. Where'd you find this? Right there on the floor. Where? Right there. Aren't you glad you didn't go accusing that poor maintenance guy of ripping you off? I, I looked and it wasn't there yesterday. You probably misplaced it. Now you don't have to worry about people stealing stuff from our room. I will see you tonight. Look out, fish, I'm coming. <laughs> Hello, Gordon. Well, hello, Ashley. Look at that. Back already. You've been here 24 hours. All of a sudden, you're my best customer. Does my ordering a beer at 1 o'clock in the afternoon mean I'm an alcoholic? It means you are on vacation, so what can I get you? <laughs> Surprise me. <laughs> I promise. <gasps> Bottoms up. Thank you. I wonder what that's all about. Did they come all the way over here just for lunch? Nah, not likely. Last time we had uniformed cops over here was when that girl went missing. What girl? Beth Kim. This is about a year ago. She worked as a waitress over at the club. Give me a sec. I'm going to go see what they want. Sure. Beth? Kim. Slow internet, more like worthless internet. Looking for someone, I guess. <laughs> so, why don't you tell me about Beth Kim? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, she worked on the island, lived on the mainland. One night, she just doesn't come home. Roommate can't find her. No one can. Cops spent weeks swarming this place, investigating. Nothing. Just disappeared. Just like that? Just never got on the ferry to go back. Some people think she went for a swim, drowned. Other people have seen sharks. Who knows? Is that what you think happened? Nope. Shark attack? Nope. Hmm. I have my own theory, but it would be impolite for me to say it. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. Come on, I'm your best customer, remember? That's true. That's true. <laughs> you twisted my arm. <laughs> I personally think that Jim and Kel... Well, it's not really Jim and Kelsey. It's Jim's nephew. It's something to do with it. And if he didn't, I guarantee he knows who did. Jim's nephew? Yeah. He lives on the island? Yeah. Does all their maintenance for him. Wait, Johnny? Yeah. Johnny is their nephew. Oh, my God. What? I am so embarrassed. What? I think he stole something from my room. 
And then I told Kelsey about it. It's just a cute little ankle bracelet that I found. Then all of a sudden, it just magically appeared back in my room. I never liked the kid. He is bad news. Why? The owner of the gift shop, he's a good friend of mine. Occasionally, when he comes in, she suddenly finds things missing. She also says she gets a weird vibe from him for whatever that's worth. Yeah. Me too. Enjoy the beer. Thank you. was concerned that he was stealing stuff from the room. I didn't realize Ash had said anything about that. I'm sorry, we found the ankle bracelet. She just misplaced it, that's all. Oh, you did, that's, all right, that's good. But tell her not to worry, he's not gonna come back into your house. No, he did absolutely nothing wrong. It was our mistake. He's a sweet kid, just can't seem to catch a break. Shower head's working great. <laughs> Hey, again, forget about what Ash said. We don't want to add to the guy's problems. Oh! oh hey. Looks like you got a bike. All right, oh, reel yeah. down, reel down, reel down. You got this. There she is! Hey. There she is. <laughs> Look at that. Look All at right. that. Woo. First one of the day. Hello! <laughs> She's a beauty. Wow. Baby. Did you catch anything? Yeah, we caught a lot. We just pulled up outside Jim's. We're gonna grill out. He invited some friends, so come on over. Okay, sounds like fun. I'll be right there. Thank you. Yeah. This is Mike Porter. 
Hey, stay at one of our rentals for the week. Nice to meet you, Mike. And this is Dina. She's a local. She manages our club. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite beer. Do you like coffee stouts, Mike? I don't think I've ever tried one. Miss Ashley? Oh. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um, I, I was gonna come talk to you earlier, but I didn't know if I should. I wanted to tell you that I swear on my life that I didn't take anything from your house. All right, that's good to know. You here for the barbecue? Yeah. Jim said the fish were really biting today. I guess so. Wait, can, can I ask you something? Um, where did you find that ankle bracelet that you thought I took? Why do you want to know that? I think it might belong to one of the ladies who rented your house last week. Well, you must have taken a pretty good look at it. No, 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 no. She asked me to borrow pliers to fix it, said her um, ankle bracelet had broke. I see. I found it at the dock. By the time we got out, the boat had drifted like 500 yards. Oh my God. Jim had to dive into the water and bring it back. <laughs> yeah. He never forgot to tie that up again. Wow. <laughs> Poor guy. I'm going to get a refill. You guys want anything? Nope. I'm good. Thank you. So sweet. <laughs> so did you uh, dive in and help him? I just watched him. <laughs> I'm not jumping in there. <laughs> I love it. Uh, what's the deal with Dina? You mean because she can't take her eyes off your husband? Pretty much. Dina wouldn't be Dina if she wasn't making a play for the next attractive man that comes on the island. Should I be worried? No man in his right mind would choose her over you. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Got you. I think I'm gonna go make my presence known. You do that, honey. Thanks. <laughs> well, tell me more about what you do. Well, I am a systems engineer. That must take a lot of patience on your part. Yeah. <laughs> patience is one of my husband's many talents. Honey, why don't you tell her how we met? I will, but first, I'm finally gonna get this refill. You guys want anything? Yeah, I'll take another. I'm good. So, you manage the club, Kelsey said. Mm-hmm. The cops were there today, interviewing a waitress. I hope there wasn't a serious crime committed or anything. No. So, um, Beth Campbell? She worked there, right? I knew her well. It's been difficult for everyone not knowing what happened to her. I read a lot of articles about it today. What do you think happened to her? Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, I guess something came up. I gotta go, but I will see you at the club tomorrow. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Right there. Jonathan Banks? Jonathan Banks. Yeah. Yeah. We'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Have you ever seen this woman? What's your name, anyways? <laughs> <laughs> Kylie. What's yours? Johnny. She looks familiar. I think that's the girl I met at. Connell's a couple nights ago. Can you tell us about that? Sure. I was at the bar. She walked up, ordered a drink, and then she left. Did you leave with her? I walked her out. I walked her to her car, and she drove off. Did you see her after that? No, not at all. Can I ask why you want to know all this? Is she involved in something illegal? 
I'll let you know if there's anything else. Have a safe night. going on? Those cops were here earlier today, too, at the bar. They're asking about a missing girl. She's not from this island. Two missing girls within one year on the same island? I think that's more than a coincidence. You know nothing about it. I spent half the day reading about Beth Campbell's disappearance. Gordon seems to think Johnny had something to do with it. Please don't do that. What? Repeat rumors. You've caused that poor guy enough problems already. Me? Yes. You falsely accused him of stealing something from our room when you are the one who misplaced it. Are you serious? I did not misplace it. He stole it, and then he brought it back. This guy had a terrible upbringing. Jim told me he had an abusive stepfather. He spent time in multiple foster homes. He certainly doesn't need you telling people that he's involved in a disappearance. I'm not telling people. I'm telling you. My husband. Besides, Gordon's the one that said it, not me. Okay, fine. Gordon said it. So let's just let it go. It doesn't involve us. There's nothing to let go. Johnny has a secret. Come in. You okay? Those cops were asking me all sorts of questions about that girl that just went missing. Well, you don't know anything about that, do you? Johnny, if there's something going on here that I don't know about, you gotta tell me. I'm serious, all right? I can't help you unless you talk to me. She knew Beth. Beth Campbell? Yes, they were good friends. How do you know that? I saw it. I saw photos of them together on the internet, Facebook, everywhere. And now this girl goes missing? They're gonna think I killed her, they're gonna think I killed Beth, and I'm gonna go to jail for the rest of my life. All right, relax. Let's be logical about this, okay? You had nothing to do with the disappearance of Beth. Okay, there's, so there's no way they can connect you to her. And this other girl, you know, who knows what happened to her? She could show up tomorrow and everything's gonna be fine. I'm telling you, everything's gonna be all right. These cops, they're just trying to scare you, right? That's a tactic, trust me. Look at me. I'm gonna let you go to prison for something you didn't do. You believe me? Once you take a shower, once you get off this couch and sleep in your bed, and no more drinking, okay? I love you. Go, chop, chop, off the couch. Yes. Gordon, what happened? Did someone drown? I think it's Melanie Kenzer. No. The girl from the mainland that went missing? Do they think it was a shark or something? Not unless a shark can tie a rope around your hands and feet. What do you mean, she was murdered? Be a hell of a way to commit suicide. Excuse me, guys, I need to go give a statement to the cops. I hate to say this out loud, but what if the killer lives on the island? Right here among us. If it was, we would know. 
It's probably somebody from the mainland. What if it's him? It wasn't. How can you be sure? He was the last one seen with Melanie at the bar, and he also knew Beth. So you think Johnny killed both of you? I'm saying them? it's a possibility. I know you don't want to hear it, but you can't pretend that this connection does not exist. This conversation is over. If he did it, and you try to protect him, that makes you complicit. I said this conversation is over. Hey. Hey, Kelsey. What's, uh, what's up with Jim? We just saw him on the way in. He's fine. He's just upset about everything today. You guys want to sit? Yeah, we just saw on the news that they confirmed it was that girl, Melanie. Pretty scary. I'm surprised you two are still here. Why? Didn't you see everyone leave on the ferry? Half the people renting checked out early. Because of the body? Same thing happened when Beth disappeared. People start to think the island's unsafe. Maybe it's not safe. I hate to see this happen to our beautiful little island. Everyone here makes their money on tourism. Last time it took the whole season to recover. But that's nothing compared to what the girl's family's going through. I'm sorry, Kelsey. I hope they find the killer quickly. Yeah, me too. But don't worry. We're not easily scared away. Thanks, guys. You're stuck with us. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, you're the first person I've seen today. Hi, I'm Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. I'm Ashley. Hi. Um, can you help me find number six? Oh, actually... We're just renting. I'm not familiar with the numbers. But who are you looking for? John Vanks. Oh, Johnny? You know him? No, but he is a maintenance guy here. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm OK. Do you want to tell me what's wrong? Yeah, that would be nice. OK, come inside. Did you hear about the girl they found in the water? Yes. She was my sister. I can't believe she's gone. I just talked to her a few days ago. Can you tell me why you're looking for Johnny? She was looking for him. What do you mean she was looking for him? They met up in a bar and no one saw her after that. Her car was parked outside of her apartment, but in the wrong space. And when I heard that, I knew something was wrong. Your sister knew Johnny? No. She was convinced he had something to do with the disappearance of her best friend, Beth, last year. The police never charged him with anything, but... Melanie was sure it was him. I didn't realize that Beth and Melanie knew each other. So she met up with him at a bar? Why? To confront him? I don't know. When she told me she found out where he goes and was gonna try to talk to him, I told her not to do it. Yeah, like, what was she gonna do? Try to get evidence, I guess? A confession? Did you go to the police with this? Of course. When I didn't hear from her, I called her landlord first. He's the one that told me about her car. <laughs> what did the police say? That they don't have enough to get a search warrant, and he told them they parted ways outside the bar. So did you come here looking for Johnny to see if maybe you could get a different answer from him? If I could just prove to the police that she was here and that he murdered her somewhere on this island, then maybe they can get a search warrant. Oh. Oh, hey. Mike, this is Tiffany. Tiffany, that's my husband, Mike. Hi. Everything okay? Yeah. We'll be done in a few minutes. So, were you close with your sister? Yeah. I know the feeling. I lost my sister, too. I'm sorry. Figured after last night, you'd be a little more relaxed. Last night was great. It's always great. <laughs> What's bothering you, sweetie? Nothing. Come on. I know you better than that. Was it your uncle? Oh, of course not. He'd be furious if he knew I was here. <laughs> you can't tell him. You know that, right? I'm not gonna tell him anything, okay? It'll be our little secret. We got a lot of those. Now we... I gotta go.
water is beautiful, huh? She is convinced that he killed her sister. I'm telling you, we just need to stay out of it. You wouldn't be saying that if you saw how desperate she was. What? This week was supposed to be about us. So far, you have focused on everything but us. Is that because you don't want to? I think I've come a pretty long way to where I can't even take a vacation with you. I don't know what else to do, Ash. I know you want things to go back to the way that they were. But a week on an island isn't going to just make me magically forget that you had an affair. I, I need more time. I'm not expecting you to forget. Or to suddenly trust me again. But you haven't been here with me at all. That's not true. First it was that stupid ankle bracelet. And then it was that girl, Beth. And now it's the sister of this dead girl. Oh my god, that's it. What? The ankle bracelet. Huh? <gasps> Please wait for me. I'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes. I'll be back. I'm sorry. Just wait for me. Are you home? Be right there. Oh, good. Ashley. Hi, is Tiffany here? Who's Tiffany? Melanie's sister. She was looking for Johnny? Um, no. Okay, I'll explain later. Thank you. Okay. For you. I'm so glad you're okay. I have something for you. Does this belong to Melanie? Oh my god, I think that's hers. Because if it does, that's the proof you need to prove she was on the island. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping me. You're welcome. <laughs> what happened? She checking out? No, she's up solving a murder case. What do you mean? Ah, uh, nothing. She'll be back soon. It's nice out there today. It's gorgeous. I was actually looking for you. I'm gonna take the boat out tomorrow morning and see if we can grab some mangroves. You interested? Yeah, sounds good. Good. See you 7.30 a.m. 7.30? Yeah. Right-eyed and bushy-tailed, my boy. All right. Ashley. Hi. Beautiful day, huh? Mm -hmm. You ready now? That was really important. The ankle bracelet that I found really did belong to Melanie. I'm so tired of hearing about this ankle bracelet. I'm going in. You do whatever you want to do. Mike! want this to work? Of course. I wouldn't have brought you here if I didn't. 
But initially, you wanted to come here alone. I'm the one who insisted that we do it as a couple. Dr. Walters thought it would be a good idea for us to reconnect. But do you? Yes. But we aren't. I feel further from you now than I did when we got here. If you're not going to be able to get past what happened and you want a divorce, then just tell me. It's not what I want, but I will respect it. I'm trying to help you get past this, but I need to know where you're at. I don't know where I'm at. There you go. That's the honest answer. Mike, I am genuinely trying. But I'd be lying if I said that I don't think about you and her all the time. Every time I see you talking to another woman, you want to know how I feel? I feel threatened, jealous, worried, but mostly, I feel insecure. And I never felt like that before. And I don't like it. I am so, so sorry. But I promise you that it will never, ever happen again. I know you say that, and I believe you, but I'm still trying to figure out if that feeling is ever going to go away. Dr. Walter said that it will never be the same, but it can, it can be better if we both work to get there. You mean if I work to get there? You're not the one that was cheated on. Maybe it was a mistake. For me to come. No, no. I'm sorry. I've been wanting you to come with me for years. And every time you asked me to come, I blew it off and we went where I wanted to go. I am sorry for that too. Thank you. I have a lot of work to do too. Jim invited me to go fishing with him tomorrow. If you want the day to yourself, I'll, I'll go. If you want me to cancel, I will. Or if you want me to leave the island early and then you can just have some real time alone, I'll do that too. I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. Oh, no. What's wrong? Uh, just 
a minor technical problem. Shouldn't take too much longer. Jump on board, grab some coffee. I can do coffee. Can't help you with that, though. <laughs> I'm perfect. Thank you. Work faster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, chop, chop. Let's go. Chop, chop. This coffee's delicious, by the way. Yeah. Hello, Gordon. Hello, Ash. Let me ask you something. Am I prompt or not? One Cape Cod. <laughs> Have a seat. Enjoy. This is the second one with your name on it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your time, both of you. Rodriguez. I'm sorry, excuse me, officer? Yes, ma'am. Are you here investigating the murder of Melanie Kenzer? Do you know something about that? Yes. I'm the one that gave Tiffany the ankle bracelet, the one that belonged to Melanie. I found it the first day that I got here at the boat dock. I'm gonna make those calls. So you found an anklet and you gave it to a girl named Tiffany? Yes. She didn't turn it into you? No, ma'am, I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Melanie's sister. She's here on the island. She was supposed to give you the ink. Oh my God. Maybe he got to her before she was able to. Officer, you have to do something about this. You're saying the victim's sister is here on the island? Yes. I don't know where, but I was with her yesterday. Ma'am, Melanie Kenzer doesn't have a sister. So who is she? Do you know her? I never saw her before. Not until yesterday. But you were talking to her. But she never told me your name. She just came in, ordered a cup of tea, and said it was her first time on the island. What the hell is going on here? Not so fast. What are you gonna do for me? I just gave you a thousand dollars. That was to hire one of my girls to play the role of Tiffany. I'm talking about our other arrangement. I don't need anything. You look like you need something to take the edge off. I told you I stopped using. On the house. Give yourself a little escape. You need it. So you think he hired someone to pretend to be the dead girl's sister just so he could get that ankle bracelet back? Yes. Think about it. It's the only thing that proves that Melanie was on the island and that Johnny lied to the police. And now it makes total sense why that ankle bracelet was so important to him. How could I be so stupid? Yeah, it wasn't your fault. You were just trying to be helpful. Yeah, and because of my help, the only evidence that could put the killer behind bars is gone. Okay. Oh my God. It's true. Wait, so you knew? No. No, I mean, I might have suspected that he could have been involved, but I convinced myself that if he was, the police would have arrested him by now. Do you think your husband knows anything? I don't think. I mean, he loves Johnny. He feels responsible for him, but I don't think he'd cover for him. So you have no proof? Like what? I don't know. 
Anything that belongs to the two dead girls? Anything that proves that Johnny was with them the night they disappeared? No. But you could find out, right? I mean, you own the house he lives in. Yeah, but I can't just go in there and search through his things. Kelsey, two girls are dead. And you said it yourself. Think about what the families are going through. You have two choices. You could either help me figure out the truth and bring closure to the families, or you could turn a blind eye. But how are you going to feel if he kills someone else? Responsible. I know I would. Deep down, you know the truth. The question is, are you going to do the right thing? borrowed this morning. Um, Jim asked about it this morning. <laughs> he said I can keep this one. <laughs> Did he? He must have forgot. I'll remind him. Where is he? He's on the boat with Mike. He's spending the day fishing. Do you need something else? Actually, I do. Um, there's this box in my closet and it's up high and it's it's heavy. It's large. And I'm just wondering if you could just come over and maybe you could grab it and because Jim's not gonna be home. Well, Why are you acting so weird? I'm not I'm not acting weird, I'm just Hello? Hey, hang on for a second. You need to take this, but uh, I'll be over there to help you with the box in a few minutes, okay? Okay. Um I could wait. No, I'll be over in a few. I'm out at the harbor. Why? Because I'm freaking out. I think Kelsey knows something. All right, slow down. What, what, what makes you think that? Because I came home and she was inside acting all weird. All right, I tell you what. Grab the boat and come and meet me. Okay. It's gonna be fine. Okay. I'm on my way. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, that was Kelsey. She's having problems with one of our guests, so she needs me to go back and deal with it. Not to worry, my replacement's coming through. A replacement? Yeah, Johnny's gonna come back and I'm jump on the motorboat and head back. He doesn't have to do that. We can just head in, call it a day. You kidding? You're fishing. Come on, he's happy to do it.
He just left. I'm heading back to my place so I can be there when he arrives. I'll keep him busy for at least 15 minutes. Okay, thank you. Johnny, it's Kelsey. I thought you were coming over to help with the box, and it's been over an hour now, so just call me when you can. anymore. I just can't. What are you talking about right now, man? I never sleep anymore. Not unless I take something. And I have these nightmares all the time that they're coming for me. Who? Who's coming for you? The cops. They know I did it. She was stealing from me, and then I realized, I realized that she was friends with Beth. She was there looking for proof. Proof of what? That I killed Beth. Did you? Oh. Hey, now's the time to come clean, man. You feel better if you just get it all out there. Just tell the truth. I am telling the truth. I didn't kill Beth. I liked her. I just helped bury her body. Why did I do that? If you didn't kill her, who did? I can't tell you that. Yeah, you can, man. I'm just here to listen. I'm not gonna judge you. I want to. I want to tell you everything. I am sure it has been hell carrying around a secret like that for so long. What's wrong? I mean, what's wrong, man? Johnny! Johnny, what were those pills? What did you take? Oh, I don't want to live anymore. Don't do this to me! Johnny! You knew the whole time, didn't you? How could you protect him after what he did? He's my blood! He's a killer! I will not be complicit in this! Don't you do anything stupid! Stupid! Stupid would be going to prison for accessory to murder! Don't you get it? If he goes down, I'm going down too! Not if we do the right thing now! I helped him! Right, I helped him cover it up! What? The first girl, Beth, I helped him. He took my boat, and I helped him dump that body into the water. I'm calling the police! I can't believe you would do this to me! 
Love, thank you for another amazing night. When I'm with you, everything feels so perfect. I feel I'm perfect, even though I know I'm far from. I hate having to be your dirty little secret. I dream about the day I can hold you in public and let the world know that we're in love. It's selfish of me, I know. Doing so will hurt your wife and Johnny. And yet their pain wouldn't steal a moment away from my happiness. Someday, hopefully soon, yours forever. Beth. Beth. Beth Kim. Jim. God damn it. Hey. Hey. Don't do this to me. I need you to help me get back to shore. I didn't kill Beth. Then who did? I loved her. Hey, tell me! My uncle. Hey, it's, it's Jim. Open up, please. Hey, look, I'm here to help. Kelsey told me everything. Hey. <sighs> Did you find the proof you were looking for? Is that why Johnny killed Beth? Because she was in love with you? And not him? No. No, not exactly. He was upset for sure when he found out about it, but Johnny wasn't really the issue. Beth thought she could force my hand by telling Kelsey about our affair. And I couldn't let that happen. What did you do? Where's my husband? You should be more concerned with what I'm going to do to you. killed Beth, and that he killed Melanie. He admitted that. Yeah, I got it on tape. Where's Ash? Have you seen her? Last I talked to her, she was going to see Kelsey. Well, can you take me there? Let's go. Hello? Is anybody home?
Kelsey? Ashley's golf cart's here. Ash? Kelsey! Find Ashley. Ash? Damn it. You'll need to send both. The Ross residence. Uh, hurry. She's not here. We gotta find her. Deep breath. Here's what, here's what we're gonna do. Back on that road and we're gonna find some sign of her. Mike, we will find her. You okay? I will be. What the hell happened? Please, just take me to the police. I need to find my husband. Where are we? Sorry, I think it's a tire. What? A flat tire? Hey, I'm at the north end of Collier's Beach. You owe me. Things were so much better before you came to our quiet little island. you did to Kelsey. She, she was gonna leave me. I couldn't let her do that, not after everything that's happened. Where's Ashley? <laughs> what the hell did you do to her? Dina, she has her. Is she alive? They're waiting for me at Collier's Beach. Then take us to her! Pretty. Very pretty. I could have made money as one of my girls. Ten years ago. <laughs> nice rock. Good looking husband. Could have had him though. He would have gone home with me. You hadn't shown up. Stupid girl. Never get emotionally involved. It's the first rule. Beth broke it and look what happened to her. I told her. Stay away from Jim. Stick with Johnny. Ashley, stay right there. 
A dose of this and she doesn't wake up. Dana, it's over. We know that Jim killed Beth and Kelsey. Johnny confessed everything to Mike on the boat before he OD'd on pills. Thanks, Dad. We don't know yet. They airlifted him to the hospital. Dana, please, let Ashley go. Jim is going down. You do not have to go with him. Help wanted, huh? Yeah. I guess Dina's gonna have a hard time running the club from prison. Nah, she can only spend her days pen palling with Johnny, huh? <laughs> and Jim. Yeah. You know, Gordon, it's funny how almost being murdered can change your perspective on things. So I am guessing that you've decided to give your husband a second chance. I think he deserves it. Couldn't agree more. What do we owe you, my friend? Oh, please. Please, put it away. It's on the house. Just say nice things about me on TripAdvisor. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? Drugs, prostitution, murder, what more could you want in a family getaway? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you come back to the mainland and open a restaurant there? Nope, I belong here. I mean, it's gonna be a rough season, but over time, things will settle down, people forget. It's still the same beautiful little island it's always been. That it is. Thank you for everything. You bet. You two better hurry away. You're gonna miss the last ferry. I can't believe it's our last day here. I know. It's great. What is that? An earring. No, no, no. <laughs> oh. The only jewelry you are allowed to keep is the stuff I buy for you. Deal? You. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I see you on an island with the breeze. Where we take our time without feet in blue waters. I'll dance with the trees. Cause the world is fine. Watching ocean waves I'll take your hand You'll take my heart And we'll just leave in We'll just leave in I'll kiss your hand Lay in the sand And we'll just leave in We'll just leave in you by the fire, let it burn, under starry skies, knowing nothing else matters, I'll sing, I'll keep, trying to make you smile, hoping that you say, I'll take your hand, you'll take my heart, and we'll just leave. Just lean in 